That worked freaking easy. Oh my God, I cannot believe that. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video for a second. This was a little bit of a struggle bus. Let's go back a little bit. All right, everybody, we're back with Neil Diamond. I haven't flown it since my first video. So we're gonna try to auto tune it. It's foggy as crap. And we're just gonna see how it flies. I got the battery moved back just a slight hair to see if the um, CG was good or not. Got the OSD corrected. Let's give it a go. Yes. Freaking barely though. Freaking barely. Right here, I should have stopped. I should have just been like, I'm good with it. Let's not push it. Let's just stop. But no, I wanted to put my bigger battery in and try this. Okay, here's what we were flying on. This little 2000 milliamp hour battery. It's got a nice little bulge in the back. This thing's probably shit. And the big daddy, the Zed, the 5000. It weighs more. This weighs this. And this weighs this. Let's get this put in, see if we can't get it figured out. Yeah, that didn't work. All right, we gotta put the plane back together. Uh, vertical stabilizers, they just popped off, pushed them back in. The only damage really to the plane was the nose and uh, was able to salvage everything else off of it. The uh, VTX holder, the camera mount, and uh, the only the other thing I had to reprint was the little plastic rectangle that the camera and the VTX mounts to. So easy breezy. The battery tray though um, came off of it, came unglued, and I was just able to re-glue it back on, um, as you can see right there. Uh, piece of cake, just grabbing some glue, Get it put back together. The end of the uh, wiring harness for my DJI, it ripped because the camera came off of it. Uh, but I just made a new harness and piece of cake. All we got left to do now is to get the uh, camera system mounted up. And really that just waiting on our 3D printer. And then I just got to connect four wires. Dude, she's back in business. Yay. Alrighty guys, I'm tired of crashing this airplane. Let's open up our browser. Let's find some landing gear. Let's head over to Motion RC. Let's see here. I am broke. So let's do that. Oh, look at all this cool stuff. Well, this looks like it'll work perfect. Boom. Let's get it. All right, here's a finished setup. This is what I ended up settling with. I originally had mounted these on the wing itself. Um, I figured having a wider stance would add for some stability. Uh, it really did not add stability to it. Um, it also made the clearance for the prop uh, less because obviously from uh, mounting this down here the wheel is now dropped so this worked I tested it on the ground just kind of flew it like a just kind of drove it on the ground like an RC car or something and this worked great um, I ended up these came uh, originally at a 90 straight up I just bent them out you know nothing to it these also slide if I can do this one-handed these just slide out of the pocket uh, pretty cool design you could easily number one get some get some uh, spring steel and bend these yourself make them longer and you could easily design this 3d um, 3d print these little pockets that these mount to but sometimes just getting that idea is hard and you saw how cheap they were nothing for the front as you can see my hot glue mess hot glue didn't work I didn't want to super glue it because I want to be able to remove it um, so there is still probably a little bit of hot glue. I went ahead and I cut out a pocket for this to fit into. Now, as you can see on these ribs right here, this, this worked just like it was almost made for it. It really did. Just cut out, cut out a pocket. 
and I'll flip this over and show you the final design. And then that just sits right in there like so. I got my, get that wire out of the way. And that just sits in there. So it came with everything. The only thing it didn't come with is the uh, M3 uh, bolts and nuts, which is what I used to secure it below. Flip this back over, which is what I used to secure it. Um, with the glue, the hot glue, it just started getting play in it. And the more play it had, uh, the less stable it went on the ground. And that's how she looks on the ground. Uh, works great. I just drove it around like an RC car for a while. And um, it steered decent. And as you see in the video, it took off just fine. So this configuration is what worked. I also have plenty of room for my prop clearance as far as takeoff. Looks like you can get about, about that before the prop hits. Mine didn't hit at all. I didn't even think about it when I launched. I was just more worried about it driving straight. So this ended up working. Very, very, very happy with it. Okay, so how I steer my aircraft when it's on the ground is instead of using the yaw stick like you're probably supposed to, <laughs> I do this. And I found that this just made it a little bit more precise. So what I do is when I launch, I just kind of just... I just eased it up nice and smooth and I had one hand here, I had my other hand here and that, that worked perfect. And honestly, with that big enough space, it tracked pretty freaking straight. I don't even think I made much of an adjustment at all, to be honest with you. But this is how I steer it because when I come in, I'll have the throttle down to land and then I have this hand free, my other hand's on the stick. And I can have this ready to to turn and steer it. It just worked better for me. Anyone, I'm sure this is what you're supposed to do or how they teach you. But when you're taking off, it's like, for me, I'm just not at that level to where I can just, I can keep my throttle where it needs to be. I'm just, I move it around a lot. So that's it. That worked freaking easy. Oh my God, I cannot believe that. It is super foggy, holy shit. Oh my God, that worked absolutely perfect. Alright, I'm gonna put this thing in manual. Oh my god. <laughs> it worked. It literally just took off straight as an arrow. cannot believe how easy that was. I don't know if you can see me, camera. I'm flying in manual right now. I don't even know where I'm going to land this thing. I'm just going to stand and talk like this. Um, I'm at... What am I, what am I at? I'm at 7 amps. I'm at 7 amps, which is 45% throttle, doing about 50 mile an hour. Uh, the plane seems to be working fine. Um, that is freaking badass. And I have my big, I have my big um, battery pack in right now. So you know what that means? That means I can fly for a while. So 
I'm going to land this in Horizon. I have no, no idea how this is going to work. I'm going to say that didn't work well. <laughs> Let's go see what happened. I bet you a million dollars we lost the wheels. I bet, I bet, I bet. Well, there she is. And there's the wheels. Oh, did it bust through? No. Damn. I wonder, I just wonder, too hard of a landing. This had to be. Don't know if we, uh, I don't know. Let's get this thing back and assess it. Okay, here she is. Uh, I just super glued these wheels back on. I'm going to have to come up with something to just attach those better. I don't know, land better. Uh, my fingertips were pretty much numb at the end of that video. You couldn't tell. It was freezing out. Uh, super cold. I mean, other than that, I can probably get these skids off. Actually, I might leave those on just in case those wheels pop off again to protect the body. But so far, a success. Um, I'm glad that I did this. I'm glad that it worked. I just need to practice on my landings being smooth. Maybe modify this somehow. But if you're thinking about doing this, I give it a thumbs up, man. Uh, this was definitely fantastic. It worked well. Now, there is some... Uh, pointers to point out. Number one, I didn't launch this in a grass field. I launched this in a big open parking lot. So that limits your availability of where you can fly and, you know, where you're going to land. I do believe now that I've got some practice underneath my belt, I need to practice on launching this thing um, at my typical spots. You know, country roads, narrow roads, and I believe I can do this. Uh, I'm just going to keep after it. I'm probably going to go ahead and get another fuselage uh, printed up in case I destroy this one. <laughs> and I'm going to start working on 3D printing uh, these mounts for the wheels. I feel like maybe I can make that one piece. Um, maybe I can support this. I don't know. Maybe it's best that these just pop off and I glue them back on instead of wrecking the whole fuselage. So... We will just have to wait and see. I hope you liked this video. Stay tuned to the channel. More videos to come. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.